Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Don't like doing these reviews later at night because for some reason if I have the light on it's, it's too much. If I don't have the light on you can hardly see me. Uh, let's put the light on and see what happens. <clears throat> well that's better. So, tonight's review, one of the uh, supposedly better ginger beers out there. Holler and Fentiman's Ginger Beer. Um, standard 4% ginger beer. Botanically brewed. Looks like it says from 1905. So, uh, all natural alcoholic ginger beer. Hollows and Fentiman's all natural ginger beer is a gluten free alcoholic beverage inspired by Thomas Fentiman's original recipe. Our refreshing ginger beer. Tastes so good because it is skillfully crafted for 14 days using the time honoured process of botanical brewing. Okay, so I find that most um, ginger beers are actually gluten free, so I don't understand the gluten part of it. So let's crack it open. Really strong ginger uh, aroma to it though. So as you can see, good carbonation, good lacing, the uh, head's disappeared straight away. Aroma. Oh, strong ginger aroma, lovely. Right, let's dive in. Oh yeah, yeah, really nice. Different to Krabby's. I think Krabby's is more, it's very fizzy, um, obviously very gingery. Uh, straight away, I can taste this, this is better than uh, Ginger Joe from Stones. With all ginger beers, there's a bit of an earthiness to it, you know, in the flavour of the obvious ginger part, otherwise it wouldn't be a ginger beer. really gets you, really warms you as well. The only thing I can say so far is it's not a red hot fibre ginger beer and I suppose with all ginger beers and you know beers in general you need to appeal to the masses rather than uh, you know not the masses. Um, I can't remember who makes the ginger beers, the normal ginger beers. Is it old Jake? Um, but um, yeah, the fiery ginger beers are really strong. Obviously, they're not alcoholic. So, you know, you have to go with what you got. Colour, a bit darker, more cloudy than you, what, you, what you'd expect from the likes of Krabby's and Ginger Joe. But taste-wise, absolutely spot on. That's actually got a bit of a kick to it, to be fair. I've had reviews about Oliver and Fentimans over the years, and it's one of the highest rated. So I'll quickly try and get you a review before I go back and watch Iron Man 2. Olo and Fentimans Ginger Beer. As it's available at Morrison's, I've never seen it at Morrison's. Uh -huh. So from Beer Advocate, it's got a three out of five. Um, oh, actually, two point nine six out of five. Poor from twenty six ratings. So my first beer in two thousand seventeen. Drank on the morning of January the 1st. Well, well, 
might as well start as you mean to go on. Uh, looks yellow, cloudy, not that lively. Smell very gingerly. Taste predominantly ginger, not too strong, but not too weak either. Some strange corn husk taste and sweetness, but was a good thing. Also quite mild. The feel, very refreshing. Would we'll love to have this again in the summer. The taste was mild enough to not make it too difficult con to consume a large amount. Here's a review from 2016. Poured into a Seattle Bay Week pint glass. And that means what? Uh, pours a ha hazy pale straw with a thin white head that dissipates to patches with no lacing. Aroma of fresh, genuine ginger with no discernible malt. Flavour of sharp, fresh ginger, mild lemon and pear. Yeah, you will get lemon in with ginger beers and ginger wines. It's, it helps bring the taste out, and usually raisins as well. Um, finishing with a lingering ginger and light mixed fruit. Medium bodied with sharp combination. An interesting variation on ginger ale with good ginger flavours dominating but some pleasant fruit flavours to complement them. This seems to have, have a bit more body to it than a non-alcoholic ginger drink, which I would attribute to malt, although no malt flavours are detectable. I actually like this better than most standard ginger drinks because it's not as sweet and has a slightly bitter mouthfeel. I also like the mild fruit flavours too. I'm a fan of ginger ale and I like this a lot. I look for a bit I'm not reading that out, it's far too long. <laughs> here's, a, here's, a, here's a review that's, you know, some somebody who's n obviously not done a lot of reviews. This is as bad as taste as it gets. Uh, it, it looks like, it looks it, pale champagne colour with no editor and no lace. A swirl creates a mild flurry of bubbles, but there's a small trail of bead. Stagnant and limp bear. This pretty much looks as bad as it gets. Smells of ginger and sugar. That's about it. Yeah, it's just ginger ale. But very sweet and, and a hint of carbonation acts acidity. Taste hits you with a big, sh big sugary hit up front. Just glucose here with a very mild tang from the carbonation. That doesn't... So at the end of this, look, yes, it's terrible, but it also challenges your preconception to explain to another dimension of possibility. Or to put it another way, it doesn't, and I was lying, and it's just terrible. Yeah, well, that bloke's talking out of his backside. <clears throat> doesn't look like the other ginger beers, I'll give you that. It's more cloudy. There's little to no lacing now. Oh, there is lacing, you can see it. Uh, but what it is, is a ginger beer that, um, you know, it's... If you're a ginger beer fan, it's one you want to taste. You know, don't believe it's just Krabby's these days that's in the ginger beer market. All the likes of Taste of Difference um, ginger beer from Sainsbury's, which is another excellent ginger beer. Uh, Tesco's, a few years ago, had one called, a brand called Simply Ginger Beer. And their Simply brand was actually a really good brand. Um, they had about seven or eight different beers in that, in that brand. And it just disappeared. And which is a shame because that had a kick that none of the others had. So this is a nice ginger beer. Yes, it's good. Yes, it's going to be sugary. Um, not too much sugar though. The ginger is very predominant, you know, in the taste. Very nice taste. Um, Feels stronger than four percent. You know, with crabbies, it tastes like just alcoholic pop. You know, you neck it down, and you think. Um, Blanford Fly, another ginger beer, which is a ginger beer slash ale. So it's ginger beer with more malt in. Um, that to me is one of the better ginger beers. And then you've also got Crabby's Stout, which is ginger beer with stout in, and that is uh, an absolute perler. You know. The best ginger beer on the market is not on sale anymore. Crabby's Black, the reserve version, 6% or 6.5%, absolutely the best. So, back to this. Um, yeah, it's, it's a decent beer. Um, I wouldn't say it's, you know, it takes your breath away or anything like that, but 
it's a good bit, it's certainly worth trying. Uh, so, out of five, I'd say a pretty decent 4.2. No more than that, it doesn't deserve more than that. It's a good beer for what it is. Uh, it's not the best ginger beer, but it is a good ginger beer. Well worth trying, you know, if you if you like ginger beers and you want to try them, put it on your list of beers to try. Right. Oh. Yeah, it's quite nice. Could have done a bit more kick to it though. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.